who looks outside, dreams, who looks inside, awakes. Your vision will become clear only when you can look into your own heart. Who looks outside, dreams, who looks inside, awakes. Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darknesses of other people. Even a happy life cannot be without a measure of darkness, and the word happy would lose its meaning if it were not balanced by sadness. It is far better take things as they come along with patience and equanimity. Everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves. A particularly beautiful woman is a source of terror. As a rule, a beautiful woman is a terrible disappointment. One looks back with appreciation to the brilliant teachers, but with gratitude to those who touched our human feelings. The curriculum is so much necessary raw material, but warmth is the vital element for the growing plant and for the soul of the child. We cannot change anything until we accept it. Condemnation does not liberate, it oppresses. As far as we can discern, the sole purpose of human existence is to kindle a light in the darkness of mere being. Where love rules, there is no will to power, and where power predominates, there love is lacking. The one is the shadow of the other. The meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances. If there is any reaction, both are transformed. We are born at a given moment, in a given place, and, like vintage years of wine, we have the qualities of the year and of the season in which we are born. Astrology does not lay claim to anything more. Every form of addiction is bad no matter whether the narcotic be alcohol or morphine or idealism. The pendulum of the mind alternates between sense and nonsense, not between right and wrong. Through pride we are ever deceiving ourselves. But deep down below the surface of the average conscience is still small voice says to us, something is out of tune. The creation of something new is not accomplished by the intellect but by the play instinct acting from inner necessity. The creative mind plays with the objects it loves. The collective unconscious consists of the sum of the instincts and their correlates the archetypes. Just as everybody possesses instincts, so he also possesses a stock of archetypal images. There is no such thing as a pure introvert or extrovert. Such a person would be in the lunatic asylum. If there is anything that we wish to change in the child, we should first examine it and see whether it is not something that could better be changed in ourselves. The greatest and most important problems of life are all fundamentally insoluble. They can never be solved but only outgrown. The least of things with a meaning is worth more in life than the greatest of things without it. The most intense conflicts, if overcome, leave behind a sense of security and calm that is not easily disturbed. It is just these intense conflicts and their conflagration which
which are needed to produce valuable and lasting results. The man who promises everything is sure to fulfill nothing, and everyone who promises too much is in danger of using evil means in order to carry out his promises, and is already on the road to perdition. For a young person, it is almost a sin, or at least a danger, to be too preoccupied with himself. But for the aging person, it is a duty and a necessity to devote serious attention to himself. A human being would certainly not grow to be 70 or 80 years old if this longevity had no meaning for the species. The afternoon of human life must also have a significance of its own and cannot be merely a pitiful appendage to life's morning. Dreams are the guiding words of the soul. Why should I henceforth not love my dreams and not make their riddling images into objects of my daily consideration? We should not pretend to understand the world only by the intellect. The judgment of the intellect is only part of the truth. Man's task is to become conscious of the contents that press upward from the unconscious. Resistance to the organized mass can be effected only by the man who is as well organized in his individuality as the mass itself. The word belief is a difficult thing for me. I don't believe. I must have a reason for a certain hypothesis. Either I know a thing, and then I know it. I don't need to believe it. It is a fact that cannot be denied. The wickedness of others becomes our own wickedness because it kindles something evil in our own hearts. Man is not a machine that can be remodeled for quite other purposes as occasion demands, in the hope that it will go on functioning as regularly as before but in a quite different way. He carries his whole history with him, in his very structure has written the history of mankind. I have treated many hundreds of patients. Among those in the second half of life, that is to say, over 35 there has not been one whose problem in the last resort was not that of finding a religious outlook on life. Thanks for watching please subscribe and keep my touch.